Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Welcome back to another City Skylines episode. My name is Sports Monkey, and we are back here in my city of Kelly Creek. And we're back here, and I want to do something very simple. So, you can tell on the screen right now, it is a very simple generic clover leaf that City Skylines has created. Well, let's zoom in a little bit. What I would like to do for today is I would like to show you how to use the TMPE Traffic Manager Mon, which you can find on the Steam Workshop for free. Then also in the City Skyline Steam Workshop, we're also going to use the Line Intersection Marking Tool. So this is going to be a short video and I just want to show you how you can kind of class up your on and off ramps. So the very first thing you're gonna notice, we have three lanes. Yes, just like every other generic highway, we have three lanes running into each other. Well, the very first thing we're gonna do is we are going to go to a one-way road and we're gonna upgrade this road over here. So now you're gonna see that this, this highway has three lanes and this is gonna merge into two. And we're gonna to get to that in a couple seconds, but I wanted to do this on ramp over here. So you're gonna be like, well, they're crashing into each other. Like, why did you do that? Well, let's use the TMPE traffic manager mod real quick before you judge. So we have the traffic manager mod. We're going to click over here and we're going to do some lane management. So we're going to have everybody merge over to these lanes over here. So, so far, blue has to go in blue, red has to go in red, and green has to go in green. So you're going to be like, well, that still looks ugly. You have two lanes over there that are literally going straight or slightly diagonal like it just does not look good so what we're going to do is i'm going to use the intersection intersection line marking mod so we're going to make this look cool and then we'll make the adjustment to make it you know look more natural so we're going to click a cl left click and then we're going to stretch and hold down the shift button Cool. All right. We have a solid line and we're going to go green to green. Now that should be a spotted line or dashing line. And then we're, we have a couple more lines that we can add over here. So over here, we want another solid line. So we're going to hold down the shift button again. Then over here, we want to do the same thing, except we're going to hold down and it's going to be a solid. Oh, no, no, we do not want that, but we still want a solid line. So hold down that shift button, then do it one more time. So this way you kind of get a triangle. So you're like, you're going to be like, well, why do we need this triangle? Well, hold down the all button before you get started. And we're going to click this triangle. And what that's going to do is it's going to be perfect. So we have a filler. That's what the three-way triangle created. And usually if you do use it, um, use the filler, you can use the grid, which looks stupid. Solid, if you want it. It's not, solid is not good, but... Usually we're going to use the chevron and we're going to invert it because this is the way traffic is going. So now that we have this in place, you're going to be like, well, it still looks ugly and unnatural. So we're going to come back over here. So this is what's called the node controller. The node controller, you can stretch and pull some of these entrances and just to, you know, just, I'm just giving this as an example. You can stretch and pull and do whatever you want with it. But what we're going to do is we're going to hold down that shift button and we're gonna click here, and then we're gonna click this one, and then it's gonna line it up. So now that you see that the, the, the roads to the left, it got rid of that little hump, and so this way the traffic is flowing straight. Now if you want, you can still stretch some of these roads out. See what I'm doing by stretching the roads out, and it makes it look a little bit better. So now that I've clicked out of this, you can tell that, look at the traffic, it looks really cool with the Chevron in there, and it the lane alignment looks a lot more natural. Now, if we go back down here, you could see where the node control is necessary, but you could see what it's like without the node control. So I'm going to just do quickly add in the line marking tools and do the lane management and just do it for this off ramp now just just to show you guys the difference again what it actually looks like now do you have to build this throughout your entire city i don't think so i think it's very very tedious now is this something cool that you can add to your city if you have time like i have time um because i i you know right now i haven't really added to the city what i've been doing is a lot of different management and i really haven't done much in regards to building, but I've been tr just trying to build up my skill level. So hold hold down shift again, 
Hold down shift again for a solid lane. Now, what are we going to do with this? So we want this to be there, and then we want this to be solid. We're going to hold down shift again, and we're going to hold down shift again. So remember, we have this three-way. We're going to hold down the alt button yet again. So we're creating that chevron. And again, we want the chevron to go this way, and we want it still to look, go diagonal. So again, we're stuck in the same spot we were. You're like, sports monkey, this looks ugly as blank. Yeah, we can swear. Well, we really don't want to swear, but so we're gonna hold down that shift button and we're gonna just we're gonna go down to this bottom. So we're going to this corner. So see how it's purple, and we're gonna go to this one by holding down the shift button, and boom, it strains it out. So you know, let's just go back real quick. So if you look above, you can see our city skylines on and off ramp to the right and what it, the base game looks like to the left. And overall, I think it does add a lot to your city. Um, you know, it really makes it look cool. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below, but just something cool to do instead of generic roads. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below, but thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day.